Hello, YouTube. Hi, Radical here. I was looking around and came across this uh, vid titled Mormonism vs. Atheism Part 2. I believe I have seen Part 1. It's been a while, though. Sorry I didn't take the time to go watch it again. Uh, it's posted by a YouTube with the moniker Imagine No Religion. Uh, it just kind of caught me in a song. Uh, I won't get into that. Never mind. Um, his, his video was kind of, he talk, he gets into it and talks about his experience of visiting an LDS chapel on Sunday. He, he dressed up, uh, which I think is great. I think it's commendable. Um, also, his desire that he stated in his next meeting with the missionaries to uh, lay all the cards on the, on the table, I, I commend that, uh, being, being honest and uh, honest about motives. Uh, I think that's important. Um, I thought it was interesting that he went off on talking about how he's going to present some of these more radical things. Uh, they're not really, I mean, it's in terms of what a missionary gets. I was at one point a Mormon missionary not too many years back. They aren't that radical. Um, I've dealt with each of those issues quite a bit, and they are, in my view, obviously I'm, I'm a believing Mormon, but in my view they are, they're lacking the, the rational basis that many assume is behind them. Uh, you talked about the, the convenience of, of things happening in, in your perception regarding uh, things such as the blacks and the priesthood. Um, I, I think that's the, the perception of convenience, um, and I'm sure you would see this the other way also, but uh, is in large degree born out of what you um, are looking for. Uh, that's what you're looking for, that's what you'll find, and you may say the same about me. Uh, but I, I thought I would participate this year, kind of the, the paragraph, I don't call them, what they call them, but the thing he said, uh, uh, your last paragraph there, he said, I would just be especially interested in engaging in discussion with people of faith to learn a little more about how you wrestle with all these bizarre concepts to form a coherent mental picture of the world. Uh, I would assume that seeming like a, a pretty... Um, like you got your head on pretty straight for the most part uh, with, with a great deal of things. Uh, I, I would call you quite informed with regard to Mormonism, but would explain why you're looking into it. And again, I respect uh, for the most part the manner in which you're addressing that. Uh, I would hope you would see that in some ways I see uh, some of the bizarreness in, in the mental picture, which um, I assume you have, um, which uh, assumption I derived from seeing your videos. And, uh, but moving on, you make a, uh, in the paragraph before that, you say, please do not quote scripture if you're going to debate me, or I'll start quoting fairy tales. I hold both in the same regard. Um, you know, I'm not going to quote you scripture in, in the purpose of you know, proving something, but, uh, you know, tell me if, if this isn't right, but if, if we're completely, you know, someone can't use what they hold to be a construct of the world in, in describing to, to you about, you know, how they wrestle with bizarre concepts, it's, it would make it a little difficult if you put that, um, restraint on the discussion that uh, I'm, I'm hoping you're not saying that we can't use any scripture at all at any time when discussing things with you, but I thought I'd get this out in the open to have you clarify that point, but uh, I'll just kind of briefly touch on these. Uh, they're obviously a bit deeper than uh, what you can cover in a 10 minute YouTube video, but I, well for example, you need to take the, the aspect of blacks and, and the priesthood. Um, 
even that statement of saying blacks in the priesthood is, is a bit of a um, uh, oversimplification because it was ref the, the prohibition initially against uh, giving the priesthood to, to all males in the world was based on, on say, the curse of the seed of Cain. There were instances in which white people were denied it because they were considered to be descended from Cain. So it has a lot more connection to uh, the, you know, the, the heritage than it is the skin color. Um, skin color was certainly part of it, but uh, at, at some point, but it, it's it's far it's far more nuanced thing than what I think you, you perceived as. But again, that's coming from here, and I'd be interested in going into a, in a bit more depth with you, with you if you were willing to look at some of. Uh, some of the views. In fact, I might end up sending you some some videos that I found on YouTube, given by uh, there's one in particular that comes to mind, and I'll, I'll try to find it. But it's given by a man who, who did become a member of our church and still is, and he gives a pretty profound uh, statement as to why he did become a member of our church and why he, he's remained such. Uh, but I'll, I. I hope we can have some constructive dialogue out of this. I'm not too keen on just interchanging to argue, but if you look at my uh, channel, the little description off the side of my channel, I've got a quote by Brigham Young. And I think that kind of firms up uh, a good part of the reason as to why I participate in this stuff on YouTube.